the lofty white pine was, in colonial times, the single most valuable tree species in the world. Why? Because it grew straight and tall, with one massive trunk clear of limbs that served better than any other available species as masts for the warships of the British Navy. Those same qualities make the white pine a highly valued lumber tree today. But not all white pines share that single trunk form. Some grow multiple trunks and may have two, three, or more, giving them a bushy-topped appearance instead of the single mast form. This pine has multiple leaders as compared to this single trunk pine. Most conifers begin each year's growth by extending the previous year's terminal bud, thus continuing the single trunk form. Adjacent buds grow more horizontally to become a whorl of side branches. But if something damages the central terminal bud or shoot, one or more of the side branches below it will curve upward to become new leader shoots and the tree becomes permanently multi-trunked. One of the things that can kill the terminal shoot is the undeniably attractive white pine weevil. At about one quarter inch in length, this tiny insect can reshape the form of the mighty white pine, often rendering it nearly useless for lumber. In spring, overwintering adult weevils emerge from debris on the forest floor and climb or fly to the uppermost terminal shoots of robust young pines growing in full sun, usually under 20 or so feet in height. They seek out healthy, vigorously growing, thick shoots. There they mate, although some females will have mated the previous fall. Adults explore the surface of the shoot looking for areas of bark that suit their taste. When a tender spot is found, they begin chewing a hole through the bark and into the tree's tissues. With chewing mouth parts at the end of its snout, the weevil scoops out and excavates a hole in the chute. Many weevils may feed like this on any given shoot, and there may be dozens of holes chewed. The female may climb to the soft, terminal buds. The chewing is easier here. She'll use her long, curved snout to undercut the tissues inside the hole, enlarging it to make room for eggs. When eggs are ready, the female deposits them in the holes. Many females may lay eggs on the same chute. She seals the holes with frass. She may lay 100 or more eggs, which will hatch within two weeks. Drops of fresh resin often appear at weevil egg sites. The tiny eggs are hidden and protected underneath the bark. When the eggs hatch in one to two weeks, the larvae feed under the bark, moving upward toward the terminal buds, then back downward, 
interrupting the flow of nutrients inside the shoot. The pine produces large amounts of resin in canals under the bark to protect itself from attack. If there are too many larvae in the shoot, some will die for lack of food. If there aren't enough larvae, some may drown in the sticky pitch. They'll feed until they pupate within the shoot and reach adult stage. Then they chew their way out through the bark. If enough larvae are present, the shoot is killed as a result of their feeding. This is when side branches that would normally reside at about 90 to 45 degrees to the stem curve upward to become the new leaders, and eventually the multiple trunks. Thank you.